Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to your fifth Java tutorial with me, Travis, at mybringback.com. And although this program is awesome, I mean, we could probably sell it for a million dollars. It's not going to be a billion dollar program because there's no user interaction. So that's what we're going to kind of do today is get some input from the user and use some of that input for a program instead of just barking at them for 10 times. So what we're going to do is go above this line before this finish right here and we're gonna say something called scanner and a scanner is basically how we get the user's input so we're gonna label this variable called scanner or I'm sorry input from user I don't know whatever you guys want to label that as so you'll remember but first I want to show you that we're getting an error so you're like Travis there's nothing called a scanner you're just giving us just confusing us but if we hover over it and go right here it says import scanner and as you can see at the top of our class we import uh, it added this line for us and what that is is basically when we use this dog Jerome um, we didn't have to import anything because over here our dog and our starting point are within the same default package but as you can see right here there's the JRE system library if we open this up and open the jar uh, classes jar we have all these packages all these methods all these objects that we can use and there's one called java.util as you can see right there and there's a class called scanner so we had to import that package and that class so we can use this scanner method or this scanner object basically and now what we want to do is set this scanner object equal to something so we're gonna say new scanner object or I'm sorry new scanner and within parentheses we're gonna say system dot n instead of system out where we would print something system n is gonna get the input from the user and now what we can do is instead of saying int finish equal 10 we can say int finish equal input from user or whatever you labeled this scanner object as now it seems like this should work but the problem is, is the computer, when we get that input, we need to tell it um, basically if it's an integer or if we're looking for a string or whatever we're looking for. So we're going to say syst or input from user dot next int. So that's basically going to let our program know we're looking for an int. And uh, now let's just run it real quick. Just want to show you guys. And as you can see, there's nothing here, but if you click right here, you can put something like seven and hit enter and it's gonna bark at us seven times now let's run it again and put something like Travis it's gonna give us an error so we aren't really checking for errors but that's okay the next thing I want to show you guys is we're just gonna copy this scanner line and uh, let's say we want um, we're gonna say instead of input we're gonna say input words so we have another scanner object that is looking for whatever the user types in but now we want to have a string say string input or we're just gonna call it words doesn't really matter you guys can label this whatever you want and again we're gonna set it equal to input words dot and this time we're gonna say either next or next line um, we're gonna say next line you guys can test both those out and see what they do but we're gonna use next line now what we can do is instead of barking we can say something like oh system dot out dot print and uh, words so now um, now let's save it and run it now the first time our scanner is looking for an int so if we give it a string it's gonna crash so let's give it, be nice and just say like 12 and hit enter and now it's looking for another scanner object so we're gonna say something like wow and now we, when we hit enter it's gonna say wow 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 we could have hit like a, you know space there or something but 
I know we're kind of going through some some things quickly, but I just want you guys to know uh, we set up a scanner, and then we say whether that scanner needs to be a string or an integer, or you know I, I think there's like a next double that you can use. But that's how our scanner object works. Again, you guys could have put like system out and then like said enter a string or and then up here system out enter an integer and then run our program. And you know that that'd be nice and you guys could probably do that. The last thing I want to show you guys before we go, I know we're covering a lot in this tutorial, but there's also a method called print line. So print ln. And we're going to save that and I just want to show you guys instead of saying system out print if we do system out print ln for line and run it again we're gonna say same thing oops I'm gonna say the same thing seven uh, wow and now it prints it on a new line so you can use that as well when you're printing again print would just continue on the same sentence or the same line but print line prints a whole new line alright hopefully you guys kind of grasped what we did with that uh, I know I kinda of went through a lot of stuff but hopefully you guys are still following along and trust me everything will make sense the more you guys go along with the series because right now some things might be cloudy but it'll make sense later Anyways, on that note, I'm going to go to bed. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night or wherever you are. Peace, and see you next tutorial.